Hello CD Bestie, welcome back to Creative Disc exclusive interview with me Lutfi And right now we have a special guest coming from Down Under AKA Australia, it is like a near from Indonesia And he's so young and he's got many many singles right now in his pocket And right now uh, he come here to Jakarta to promote his new single Let's talk more about our guest today This is Matthew Ive I will <laughs> So sorry, how how to pronounce your name? It's Ifield It's Ifield <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is Matthew Ifield How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm good, thanks uh, So it's, uh, some people call me uh, Ifield all the time Or Ifield huh? or, But yeah, Ifield yeah. Really? Yeah <laughs> Okay, so uh, tell me about your uh, newest single first. Uh, the newest single is called Just Say The Words. Mm. It's a song about uh, being in a relationship mm. and just wanting the truth. Um, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's very simple. Uh, why? Uh, you Your title, you'll say just, just say the words, not just say anything. Um, it's sort of... It's sort of like you're expecting... Uh, the person that you're in a relationship mm. with, you're expecting them to break up with you. Mm. Or saying, I think we should break up. Mm. Or the complete opposite, saying, mm. uh, I love you. Mm. Or, um, or or even just like, can we just be friends or something like that. Um, yeah. Okay, is it like uh, your uh, true experience uh, writing this song? Um, no. <laughs> okay. No, no. Um, but it is like a... I, I often create little like scenarios mm. from um, you know, something that I just come up with, mm. with in my head or um, from a movie or TV show or mm. like a, a story. Mm. Um, that's my main writing process. Like I come up with a, a story mm. and then write lyrics around that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay so uh, can you tell us the first time that you uh, touch with music, your first touch with music? Um, I was four years old, mm. and I joined a choir, mm. and that was you know, really awesome. We did tons of performances with like orchestras and um, on camera, on the news, on radio. Mm. Mm. Um, I had to leave um, because of complications, but I, mm. I, I started uh, really wanting to do music when mm. I did my first high school musical mm. oh. um, called The Lion King. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What role did you in? I played Mufasa. Oh, damn! <laughs> um, and that was just, it was amazing mm. uh, being part of like a huge team making mm. you know, not just music, but a, like, a full performance on stage. Mm. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And then I started getting really interested in music, like production, mm. and writing originals and singing covers of songs. Mm. And yeah. So uh, you got your role on the Lion King uh, on on your high school. How yeah. does how does it feel to be a Mufasa? <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it was actually it was a compulsory thing that everyone mm. everyone in my school had to audition. Yeah. And you know, a lot of my a lot of my classmates were like, oh, I'll, I'll just I'll go in there and, and mm. sing really bad. I, mm. I don't really want to be a part of the musical. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, you can do that, but I. I I didn't I just mm. I decided to just go for it mm. and I mm. I uh, sung and acted and mm. I eventually got the role and I was yeah very very happy. Okay 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 interesting it's very interesting. So, uh, what's your uh, favorite artist of all time? Not an artist that you love? Oh. Um, probably Michael Bublé. Oh wow why? Um, well I think my voice is quite similar to his, but I also. Mm. I grew up listening to a, a lot of his songs, mm. um, especially during Christmas time. Mm. My parents would play a lot of mm. Michael Bublé Christmas songs because mm. it's just like a staple of like Christmas songs. Um, yeah, Michael Bublé, but I'd also say um, another jazz artist called Oscar Peterson. Oh, wow. he's a piano player mm. and he plays sort of like jazz blues mm. sort of style. It's a very distinct mm. style. You can tell when he's it's, it's, it's his song. Mm. Okay, so uh, I've heard uh, from the birds, I think. I've heard from the, the, the rumors that you are an avid gamer. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I love I love playing mm. on PlayStation. Mm. I play a lot of um, uh, racing games, like mm. car racing, 
So like Gran Turismo. Really? Yeah, you know Gran Turismo. Yes, yes. I I I know Gran Turismo. Like, uh, how many car that you already have in car uh, Gran Turismo? Oh, at least like five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a sim? Constantly buying stuff. <laughs> Do you have a sim rig? Uh, sim uh, simulation uh, sim rig like uh, like the uh, the the steering no. wheels? No, but I I, I want to get one. But I have like my controller. Mm. You can tilt. Steer. Oh yeah, yeah, That's yeah! I know, I know, I know. Get, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What's your favorite car on Gran Turismo? Um, I'd say there's a car um, called the uh, S15, mm -hmm. the Nissan, uh, Nissan, Nissan, uh, something S15, uh. um, and it's very fun because I've I've tuned it so I can um, do like drifts and donuts and stuff. Okay, it's very okay, fun. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you already watch the Gran Turismo movie? I have, yeah. W what's your opinion? I watched it um, not on the plane to here, but um, mm. on another plane. Mm. Um, I really like it. Yeah. Really? I think it's really cool. Um, and I heard it was based off a true story as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, my friends like uh, my my friends has a get some sorry as a as a Jan I think because uh, my friend is like uh, he from Gran Turismo too. And he got from uh, from uh, sim racing, from simulation racing, and right now he's got the professional driving. Last uh, yeah. Oh, in like in real life. In real life too. In real life too. Just yesterday he's got uh, number fourth, fourth on the Sentul on the on the circuit motorsport in here. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, he's driving like BMW, I think. Oh, Is right. it, yeah, BMW. Wow. All all of uh, his modification. Yeah. Well, that's actually something I wanted to do as well. Um, before I considered doing music as a career, really, I wanted to try and um, get into mm. racing through a, a simulator like some like Gran Turismo. Really, yeah. really, really. But <laughs> do you like a uh, racing scene overall, like racing car scene? Uh, racing cars. And yeah, and like, like F one things like that. Yeah, I love F one. Oh, yeah. Do you watch it on the Australia? Yeah, I watched F one. Yeah. Really? Every year? Yeah. <laughs> since damn. Since twenty twenty one. Since 2021, yeah. damn. Because I think like last year, like 2023, I think like it's the best, F, the best Australia, Australia race I've ever seen. Like you know, uh, when everything goes oh, wrong, yes. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. So, what's your favorite team? My favorite what sir? Oh, my your favorite team on F1. Oh, McLaren. Me too, man. Oh. Me too, me. Oh my god, <laughs> we are papaya fans. <laughs> actually, oh my god. Uh, I would say like I say like, I love Norris and Piastri too because yeah. they are like completing each other I think but yeah. but Piastri is like one of the best rookie uh, after a long time yeah by far yeah 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 yeah, yeah. do you uh, really uh, see the yesterday race um, I saw the highlights this morning oh yeah yeah you um, I saw what was it George Russell overtaking going from fourth to second no fourth to first in one corner, which yeah. is very cool. Yeah. Um, and Lando Norris <laughs> losing a lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, let's talk about your favorite thing. So, mention five things we didn't know about you. Five things. Yeah. Um, Besides, you like F1 and <clears throat> game. <laughs> yeah, your favorite game, lah. My favorite, oh, sorry? My f your favorite game. My favorite game. Of all time? Oh. F1. It's not my favorite now, mm. but one game that was really important was Fortnite. <laughs> okay, yeah. not that well, Taylor Swift song, right? During like COVID lockdowns, mm. Fortnite was really important because mm. it allowed me to just still mm. uh, play games mm. with my friends. Mm. Um, and it, it's I mean it's boring now, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was yeah, it was very fun. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Number two. Um, I love camping. Camping? Like oh. off-roading. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I love being amongst nature. Mm. Um, I find it very relaxing, very peaceful, and it's very important when I'm doing music mm. that I, I get a break and, mm. and go be amongst nature. Okay. I really like it, yeah. Number three. Number three. <sighs> Your favorite Gran Turismo track? I will give you a clue. Oh, uh, I'd say either the the Nurburgring or um, 
this one uh Sardinia is it Sardinia Sardinia yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Weinerberging um, because is it like thrilling Yeah it reminds me of um like you know like uh Tobe like uh, Tobe uh, uh. um <laughs> and I just it, the length of the track is amazing and it's very I I love how um narrow the road is as well Yes and yes it is it is it is It's very is. intense oh. yeah The fourth one, your favorite album of all time. Oh, album? Mm. There's an album called Breathe by mm. Sam Wills. Oh, okay. You heard of Sam Wills? Mm. No, no, um, no, never heard of that. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, ev- I love mm. every single song oh, wow. in that album. It's okay. amazing. Okay. I love the production mm. and especially the drums mm. in that album. It's very cool. Um, another album um Uh, Oscar, Oscar Peterson, one of his albums mm. called uh, Oscar Peterson plays the George Gershwin songbook. Oh wow! And it's yeah, that, that's also a very amazing album. I love it. Okay, yeah. and the very very last one, I will give you a clue. What's your favorite F1 circuit? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably it's between. Um, Spa Ooh. and Suzuka. What? Um, well, Spa I like because it's a very long track. Yes, it is. And and it is very, very, uh, very, very uh, see cool to see how the battle it is on the spot. Yeah, right? and all the corners are very fast. Yes, yeah. you can overtake on the corner, right? Yeah, yeah. And then Suzuka as well because of that one mm. corner. Is it one one thirty r or one twenty r? Um, it's a very fast corner. Yes, it is. Yeah. Suzuka is a, like thrilling one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, my favorite one is like uh, Australia actually. Oh right. Because it's a lot of drama in there. Yeah. Always a lot of it's drama lot of in drama. Australia. It's um, <laughs> it's not actually the the track gets built. Yes. At certain times during the year, so they they have they build the track and oh. then they race. They do all the races huh? and then I think they, uh, pack it all up afterwards. Oh. Yeah. Well, same as like Australia, eh, Singapore, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the the race uh, the road yeah, track right and Monaco as well. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the last question for this interview: What's next for Matthew Eifeld? Uh, I'm releasing another song mm. uh, sometime next month. I haven't got an exact date, mm. but it's actually a, a a new version of Like I Do, mm. and it features an artist called Chloe Rose, mm. who's based in the US. Mm. Um, she has quite a popular following here in Southeast Asia as oh, well. Wow. Um, And she's an amazing singer. I think one of her songs hit mm. number one on the charts in uh, on the Spotify charts in oh, Malaysia wow. and uh, Indonesia okay, as well. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. So okay, I'm okay. very excited, and yeah, it's, she's an amazing singer, okay. and the songs sound brilliant. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. So thank you so much, Matthew. I felt for this interview. We are gonna uh, talk more maybe about F1 after this interview session ends, because really, uh, yesterday, like I watch F1 with my friends at yeah. uh, the Catalunya one, and it's very, very, you know, a uh, pure of drama and strategy, right? <laughs> Lots of shouting. Lots yeah. of shouts. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, thank you so much, Matthew. For this interview, uh, I'm Lutfi and this is Matthew Eiffel signing off from this Creatives exclusive interview. Thank you so much for uh, everyone who fi- uh, who watched this interview. Don't forget to subscribe to creativedisc.com. Don't forget to uh, sub- uh, follow all the social media creative uh, from Creative Disc. And don't forget to follow Matthew Eiffel social media. You can uh, follow Matthew Eiffel on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Or is it X now? X, X. It's X. like all X. We are yeah. X, X, X now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's like it's a uh, Matthew Ifield. M A T T H E W I F E A L D. Matthew Ifield. Matthew E F E I F I E L D. Am I right? Yes. Okay. E A F E A L D. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much, Matthew, for this interview. I'm really, really appreciate your time. So this is Lutfi, and this is Matthew. I feel signing off. Bye-bye. Bye bye.